Hi, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to start a blog that your industry loves. I've been blogging for a long time, know a pretty good amount about it, so I'm excited to dive into this topic with you. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is build your blog on WordPress. WordPress is literally the biggest blogging platform in the world. It was made specifically for blogging. Yes, there's a lot of other options out there that I could run through right now, but WordPress is gonna be your best bet for building a blog. Okay, item number two, once you have WordPress going, you're gonna to wanna to install Yoast. Yoast is a third-party plugin that's gonna optimize the heck out of your blog for you, and it's gonna make it really, really powerful from an SEO perspective. It's going to allow you to generate sitemaps. It's going to allow you to generate a robots.txt file, which is a file that you need. It's gonna allow you to optimize individual posts and, and do a lot more. So make sure that you install Yoast. It's much better than some of these other uh, plugins for SEO out there. Okay, item number three, once you're done with that, make sure that you submit your sitemap to Google Search Console and to Bing. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your blog posts are indexed quickly. If possible, you're going to wanna to have an RSS feed sitemap, which is created pretty much on every WordPress uh, blog by default. So you can use that RSS feed sitemap and you can submit that directly to Google or to Bing. If you don't have an RSS feed and it's just an XML, that's also fine. Okay, item number four, install share buttons on your blog. You definitely wanna have this. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, the way that I've been using recently is by using sumo.com. Uh, sumo me is the name of the actual service. And it's a suite of tools that you can use for your website that allow you to do things like install share buttons, but also do a lot more too. And if you wanna learn more about that particular tool and how to use some of the other features like pop-ups and heat maps. I'll put a link uh, to the bottom of the YouTube video so you can check it out. Okay, item number four, create a sidebar. And this is really important. It's specifically your sidebar needs to have certain things into it. Make sure that at the top of the sidebar, it tells people where they are online, right? This is a little area where you can tell people about the blog. Make sure that you've got links to social profiles, you've got a newsletter capture, you've got some information about the author of the blog so that they can associate the blog post with a person and learn more about that person over time. You wanna to link to categories, you want to link to the top guides that you've written. Um, these are really, really important things. If you're uh, um, going to be accepting contributors. You could have a, a button to uh, have contributor requests for people who also want to write for you. The sidebar is really important, so be deliberate with it and make sure that you've got that type of sequence of things in there. And if you want to have a call to action in there as well, whether you're trying to say, check out our latest guide or check out um, some cool products we have for sale, etc., make sure that you go ahead and do that also because that will allow you to get some conversions out of your blog. Okay, item number six, this is kind of a tricky one. Develop better content than your competitors. And there's a lot that goes into developing content. And I recommend you check out some of the other YouTube videos on that specifically on this channel. And I'll link to a couple inside of the description here, but look at what your competitors are doing and make sure that you're one-upping them every single time. In the blogging space, it's gotten really, really competitive. So make sure that you look at everything that's out there and create a better piece of content on every single thing that you're writing. If you're just writing quick posts that people don't really care about, you're never gonna develop a readership and you're not gonna get what you want out of blogging. Okay, item number seven, mention other companies and mention people that you wanna do business with inside of your blog, link to them and email them. When you do that, it's gonna help you to develop a relationship. So if you can develop that relationship by mentioning them, giving them a shout out inside of a blog post naturally, that's gonna be great for you because it can lead to new business relationships um, that you wanna get. Okay, item number eight, make sure that you're creating social media profiles where your demographic is. So find out where your demographic is online, create social media profiles, make sure you're building communities there and you're sharing your blog posts on those social media profiles and promoting them over time. And if you can do that, that's gonna allow people to come back to your website where you can potentially capture some information from them and you can kind of get them into some type of funnel. But by doing that, you're getting in front of these other communities, you're getting your content indexed in these other communities, people are seeing it, they're getting to know you, and they're eventually gonna want your product or service. 
Okay, so my last item today, item number nine, is make sure to advertise your blog posts on social media. So by advertising your blog posts on social media, you can, instead of your post getting seen by 10 people or 100 people, you can get seen by 10,000 people or 100,000 people, and that can allow you to get much more reach, develop a readership a lot faster. So don't be afraid to do social media advertising. It actually is really important, especially with the way that social is going right now. Okay, so that's about it for blogging today and creating a blog that your industry loves. You know, blogging is definitely a science, an art form. It's getting more competitive. You know, the last thing I would say is you gotta be consistent with blogging. The more that you do it, the better off you're gonna be. You know, I'm now blogging anywhere between five and 15 times a week. And that's allowed us to really, really grow our traffic a lot faster. So you gotta be consistent at least, you know, two to four times a week, I would say. If you're only doing it once a week, um, that's gonna be tricky unless you're doing some really good long form content um, that people are going to see that absolutely cuts through the clutter and is much, much better than your competitors, which you really wanna be doing anyway. So um, hope this helps you create a blog that your industry loves. If you have any questions, make sure to comment and I'll be happy to answer and have a great day.